Picture yourself in the kaleidoscopic era of the late 1970s, where television screens flickered with eccentric tales and unconventional narratives. Amidst the symphony of traditional sitcoms, a rebel emerged, a show that dared to challenge norms, shatter conventions, and whisk its audience away on a roller coaster of hilarity and disbelief. It was in this audacious backdrop that the 1977 TV series Soap burst onto the scene, turning the mundane into an electrifying carnival of comedy. As you took your seat in front of the screen, little did you know that you were about to embark on a journey that would redefine your notion of television entertainment. The lives of the Tates and Campbells, two intertwined families, unfolded like a Shakespearean comedy remixed with a dash of absurdity. Affairs, misunderstandings, and conspiracies painted the canvas, while the characters navigated through a labyrinth of witty repartees and outrageous scenarios. And oh, the moments that etched themselves into your memory. From Billy Crystal's uproarious portrayal of Jody Dallas, one of the earliest gay characters on TV, to the ludicrous and almost surreal escapades that made you double-check if your senses were playing tricks on you. Remember the ventriloquist dummy with a life of its own or the dramatic possession that was more hilarious than haunting. These were the gems that adorned soap, turning it into a treasure trove of the unexpected. Now, fasten your seatbelt as we dive into some random tidbits about this groundbreaking show. Uncover the hidden anecdotes that made the production a roller coaster ride for its creators and cast, and discover the curious influence it left on future TV endeavors. From the controversial to the comical, the bizarre to the brilliant, these glimpses behind the scenes will leave you astonished and enlightened. So, whether you're a devoted fan who vividly recalls each episode or someone who missed this extravaganza, get ready to explore the world of soap like never before. It's time to unravel the tales, trace the contours of its impact, and find yourself captivated once more by the magic that was, and still is, soap. Robert Guillaume's Emmy wins in Soap and Benson, a historic feat in television history in the annals of television history, 1977 marked a significant turning point with the groundbreaking series Soap. Amidst its humorous and often controversial content, the show carved out its own place in the cultural landscape. Notably, it achieved a remarkable first that resonates to this day. Robert Guillaume, the multi-talented performer, etched his name in the record books, becoming the first black actor to clinch an Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. What's more astonishing is that Guillaume achieved this triumph not once, but twice, once for his portrayal in Soap, and again in its spin-off, Benson. Guillaume's accolades were no small feat, as he joined the exclusive company of actors who managed to capture the same Emmy for playing a single character across different shows. The only other luminaries to share this distinction were the legendary Jackie Gleason and the esteemed Ed Asner. Gleason secured the Emmy for his iconic role as Ralph Cramden in both The Jackie Gleason Show and The Honeymooners. Asner, likewise, found acclaim for his portrayal of Lou Grant in both The Mary Tyler Moore Show and its namesake spin-off, Lou Grant. The significance of Guillaume's achievements extended beyond his remarkable acting prowess. His wins served as a testament to the evolving diversity and representation in television, paving the way for more inclusive narratives on the small screen. His nuanced performances and charismatic presence on Soap and Benson not only resonated with audiences, but also broke barriers and shattered stereotypes. However, Guillaume's journey to television history was a twist of fate. Little did he know that his path to fame would be intertwined with a humorous anecdote involving yogurt. Jay Johnson, who would later become known for his ventriloquist act on Soap, had initially secured a contract to be the face of a yogurt company. Yet, as fate would have it, Johnson stumbled upon a casting call for a ventriloquist role on a sitcom, leading him to audition for Soap. To his astonishment, he landed the part, temporarily postponing his yogurt spokesman gig. Interestingly, as Soap gained popularity, the yogurt company opted out of the deal, settling Johnson's contract. This unexpected twist propelled him further into the limelight, cementing his role in television history. Johnson's journey, like the show itself, was a mix of humor, chance, and the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. In retrospect, the legacy of Soap remains a testament to the power of representation, comedic storytelling, and the unexpected opportunities that define show business. 
He owns double Emmy wins, along with Johnson's serendipitous venture into the world of ventriloquism, continue to inspire a new generation of actors and entertainers. As the world of television continues to evolve, the memory of soap stands as a marker of progress and a reminder of the remarkable journeys that shape the industry. The iconic 1977 TV series Soap, a name with sudsy origins in the realm of television history. Few shows have left as lasting an impression as the 1977 series Soap. Behind its rib-tickling humor and tangled plot lines lies a curious tale about its very name, a tale that captures the essence of the show's creative spirit. During the pre-production phase, the show's creators wrestled with the challenge of finding a suitable title that could encapsulate the show's unique blend of comedy and drama. As they brainstormed and deliberated, a working title emerged, Soap. This seemingly mundane moniker, born out of necessity, stuck with the production team as they struggled to conjure up a more fitting alternative. However, despite their efforts, the elusive perfect title remained just out of reach. As filming commenced and the show started to take shape, Soap continued to serve as a placeholder, a reminder of the challenge to christen the series appropriately. And so, almost serendipitously, Soap transitioned from a temporary label to its formal title, gracing screens across the nation. The show's creators had inadvertently stumbled upon a name that, much like the show itself, was simple yet cleverly layered. Just as soap cleanses and refreshes, the series brought a refreshing and unconventional take to television storytelling. Soap, with its unapologetic exploration of controversial themes and its satirical approach to soap opera tropes, defied conventions and sparked conversations. The very name that was once a mere stand in became synonymous with this trailblazing show's legacy. In the annals of television, the story of Soap serves as a reminder that sometimes the most ordinary of beginnings can lead to extraordinary outcomes. The name that emerged from a brainstorming session meant to be fleeting endured, becoming an indelible part of television history. Chuck Campbell and his ventriloquist Dummy Bob, unexpected stars of the 1977 TV series Soap, held a fate-changing role. Originally slated as fleeting characters linked to a character's demise, the duo's overwhelming popularity shifted the narrative course. The murderer's identity underwent revision, allowing Chuck and Bob to enthrall viewers throughout the series. This twist of fate propelled the Chuck and Bob storyline into uncharted territory. The resounding response from audiences prompted a departure from the show's initial trajectory, securing their prolonged presence. The ventriloquist act, initially destined for a brief tenure, morphed into a cornerstone of soap, captivating viewers with its unprecedented charm. Chuck and Bob's unprecedented ascent stands as a testament to the unpredictability of television's creative currents. Their unexpected rise from episodic guests to enduring icons showcases the intricate dance between audience reception and narrative evolution. As soap unfolded, Chuck and Bob's strings wove a narrative thread that defied convention and rewrote the series' destiny. In a television landscape marked by calculated scripts, the organic resonance of Chuck and Bob's partnership resonated profoundly. This unforeseen phenomenon demonstrated the power of embracing spontaneity in storytelling, forever imprinting soap with their unforgettable legacy. Indeed, Chuck Campbell and his charismatic dummy Bob forever altered the course of soap, turning a brief cameo into an enduring tale, etched into television lore. Controversy in comedy, advertisers' cold shoulder warms up for 1,977 seconds soap in the tumultuous landscape of 1977 television. One show stood out for its audacity and uproarious take on the American soap opera. Soap, a groundbreaking sitcom created by Susan Harris, burst onto the scene with a blend of satire and scandal that ruffled more than a few feathers. While the series was a crucible for controversy, it also played host to a unique confluence of talent that would shape the future of television. Amidst the bedlam of the show's early episodes, one peculiar subplot involved a boycott by major advertisers, who recoiled at its edgy content. News of the show's audacious approach spread like wildfire through the media grapevine, sending waves of trepidation among potential sponsors. However, a glimmer of support came from an unexpected source, a novel product known as SlimFast. 
This weight loss concoction, then in its infancy, dared to align itself with the brash narrative of soap, becoming one of the few items to grace the premiere's commercial breaks. Yet, beneath the controversy lay a tapestry of interwoven careers that would leave a lasting mark on the annals of television history. Robert Urich, a versatile actor of the era, navigated a dual role with finesse. While portraying Peter Campbell in Soap, Urich simultaneously brought life to Paul Thurston in the short-lived sitcom Tabitha. This display of acting prowess captivated audiences and solidified Urich's reputation as a formidable presence on the small screen. Further contributing to the show's allure was the enigmatic Gordon Jump, whose portrayal of Chief of Police Tinkler on Soap preceded his iconic turn as Arthur Big Guy Carlson on WKRP in Cincinnati. Jump's trajectory intertwined with that of Howard Hesseman, another WKRP luminary, as the two shared the spotlight in several late first season episodes of Soap. In the ever-evolving narrative of television, Soap looms as an emblem of innovation and boundary-pushing storytelling. Its controversial inception, buoyed by the unexpected endorsement of Slim Fast, and the convergence of talents like Urich, Jump, and Hesseman, solidified its place in the pantheon of groundbreaking television. As the years march forward, the echoes of Soap's irreverent wit and daring spirit continue to reverberate, a testament to the power of audacious storytelling in a world thirsty for the unexpected. As we bid adieu, our journey through the zany, scandalous, and utterly delightful world of the 1977 TV series Soap comes to a fond conclusion. Like a whirlwind of laughter and unexpected twists, the show has etched its vibrant characters and quirky tales into the tapestry of television history. As we lower the curtain on this captivating tale, take a moment to reflect on the parallels that may resonate between your own life and the escapades of the Tate and Campbell families. Just as they navigated their tumultuous lives with humor and resilience, perhaps you've found yourself facing your own comical dilemmas in poignant moments. The intertwining lives on the screen can serve as a mirror to our own experiences, reminding us that life's storylines are often woven with threads of hilarity and poignancy. Whether you've shared hearty laughs with Bert, chuckled at the chaos that ensues around Jessica, or rooted for Billy and Mary's endearing romance, Soap has likely left its distinctive mark on your heart. And now, dear reader, we invite you to share those cherished memories, quirky observations, and profound insights that the show has sparked within you. It's your turn to become a part of this ongoing narrative, to contribute your unique perspective to the colorful mosaic that is Soap. Your thoughts are the final puzzle pieces that complete this remarkable picture, and we eagerly anticipate your musings. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, for embracing the absurdity and tenderness that soap encapsulates. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Reflect, reminisce, and share. The story continues with you.